Masjid, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and uh, good morning to all of you. So today we discuss about the tutorial for that is the oscilloscope, right? <clears throat> okay, so let's do the tutorials uh, for this oscilloscope. Okay, so we have a uh, I think we have 10 questions eh, on the oscilloscope, uh, on the tutorial form, right? So you can check on your tutorials. So we go one by one. Right, so this is uh, question number one. Eh? This is question number one. Question number one so will be, all right. So the deflection sensitivity of the of an oscilloscope is uh, 20, uh, 35 volt per cm. Okay. If the distance from the deflection plate to the CRT screen is a uh, 16 millimeter, the length of the deflection plate is 22.5 cm, and the distance between the deflection plate is 1.2 cm. What is the acceleration and not and not voltage? Okay, so the question is the what is the acceleration of the and not voltage? Okay, so first here. Okay, so we given is the is it, the G. Okay, G is a is a sensitivity. Yeah, is a thirty five. Okay, volt per cm. Alright, and then L length is the uh, sixteen millimeter. Okay, equals to uh, cm. Okay, equal to one point six cm. Alright, and then we have the LD. LD, okay, the length, this one, eh, length of the deflection, okay, deflection plate is a, uh, 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 it's a 2.5, 2.5 cm, and D, distance between the deflection plate is a uh, uh, 1.2 cm, lah. okay, so the deflection sensitivity is equal to G equals to 1 over S, okay, so equals to 2 D E A divided by L multiplied by uh, L D, okay, so uh, this one already given, okay, this one already given, we have the G here, and then we have the, uh, this one, uh, D, Okay, we have the L and we have the uh, <clears throat> we have the LD here. Alright, so we have to find this one. Eh? So this is uh, we call the acceleration and the voltage. Okay, we want to find this one. Eh? So equals to E A equals to uh, G uh, multiplied by L multiplied by LD okay, divided by uh, 2D. Okay. 2D. That is the to get the acceleration of the anode. Okay, anode voltage. And then substitute uh, substitute the value of the G. Okay, the G is a uh, okay 35 volt per cm. Okay, uh, multiply by 1.5 cm. Multiply by 2.5 cm. Eh? Okay, please. This one. That's why. L here will be changed eh, from millimeter to uh, centimeter because of this value is there on the cm. Okay, make sure the same unit. Okay, make sure the same unit lah. Divide by right. So uh, two multiplied by one point two cm. Okay, so the answer will be uh, okay using your calculator. Okay, the answer will be fifty eight point three three. Words, okay, because this one, eh, the CM here will be cancelled out, okay, cancel out, okay, so just a voltage here, that's why the value, okay, the value of this one in the voltage, lah, okay, so that is the acceleration and the voltage, okay, this is for question number one, right, question number one, eh, so next we go for the question number two, okay, question number two, Okay, so this is question number two, eh? 
Question number two is that stationary ISA choice figure on the feed, on the oscilloscope has seven vertical maximum value and 4.5 horizontal plates. Okay, the frequency, the fre if the frequency of the horizontal plate is a uh, 1500 hertz, determine the frequency of the vertical plates. Okay, this means we have to find the vertical plate, the frequency of the vertical plate. Okay, so this is a formula lah, that you have to know. Okay, Fy over Fx. Actually, Fy is the number of horizontal eh? horizontal okay, horizontal uh, thing just okay and then divide by this is frequency eh? all right so number of uh, this one vertical vertical thing okay all right so this one all right so fx will be given okay so this one given all right so and then this one will be given uh, right so you, you can find the fy uh, okay so as far as this fx is still one given this one eh? this is horizontal 500 uh, 1500 hertz Okay, equals to okay number of horizontal tangents here. Okay, horizontal tangents is uh, seven point five here. Eh? Seven. Eh, sorry, four point five. Four point five divided by okay the vertical is the seven. Then we can get the fy lah. So four point five divided by seven multiplied by one five hundred hertz. Okay, so this is an frequency. So the answer will be nine hundred sixty four. Hertz. Right, so this is the frequency of vertical plate. Okay, this is formula that you have to remember. Lah. Okay, this is formula. Eh? Okay, this formula. Okay, this one is the uh, frequency. Eh? Frequency of vertical. Okay, divide by frequency of uh, uh, horizontal equals to number of horizontal tendency divided by number of vertical tendency this is formula lah. okay formula that you have to remember okay all right so next we go for the uh, question number three okay question number three i think okay copy this one Okay, so the question number three, describe briefly the operation of the cathode ray cube. Okay, CRT. So this one, you can refer to the notes, eh? refer to the notes. Okay, we go for the next, is the B. Okay, for the, dis for the display in the figure three, okay, the vertical amplifier control is set at 0 0.05, okay, 0 0.05 volt per cm, and the sweep of the 0 0.02, uh, millisecond per cm okay find the amplitude okay amplitude v amps and the angular frequency omega of the sine wave okay so that you have to find this one okay we have to find the with uh, the amplitudes okay the amplitudes okay that's mean from zero to m okay this one peak to peaks eh? if you want to peak to peaks that's mean you have to multiply by two uh, okay and then the angular frequency the angular frequency of this sine wave uh. Okay, so the first question is uh, uh, describe briefly operation of the uh, uh, of the CRT. Okay, this one you can refer to the notes. Huh? Okay, so the operation of uh, CRT electron generated at the at a heated cathode. Okay, and deflected vertically and horizontally by the deflecting plates. Okay, and then accelerated towards to fluorescent screen. That is the operation. Huh? Okay, the uh, that's the just a point for the okay the operation of the CRT okay and then we go for the question B all right so question B okay here given is the okay the sweep is the 0 0.05 okay this one we call the control amplifier eh? 0 0.05 okay vote per cm this means one cm 
1 cm here equivalent to 0 0.05 lah. Okay, T. This one eh, for vertical curve. And again, for horizontal is 1 year square here will be uh, 0 0.2 millisecond per cm lah. Okay. So, we have to find lah from this one eh. 1, 2. Okay, 1, 2. So, this is uh, the... Okay, this is the center lah. Okay, this one is the center eh. This one the center lah. Okay, assume this one is the zero. That's mean. Okay, so this one we have. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, so another one here lah. Okay, so we assume it's still uh, 4.5 eh. We have one, two, three, four. And then another one here lah. Okay. So the Vm equals to 4.5 cm multiplied by 0 0.05 cm per. Okay, so equals to 0 0.25. Okay, 0 0.25 volt uh, because of this cm will be cancelled out. Eh? And then next we have to find the frequency. Uh, Frequency, as you know, the frequency formula of frequency 1 over T, 1 over period. So, 1 over period is a 1 copy cycle. Lah. Okay, so from this, okay, from this point, we can measure to this point. Lah. Okay, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, we have 4. Lah. We have 4 cm. Okay, 1, this one, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, 1 copy cycle. Lah. The period is a 1 copy cycle, lah, 360. Okay, from this one to this one. Lah. Okay, that's why. 1 over uh, 4 cm multiplied by 0 0.02 lah. Okay, every point here, every point here is just 0 0.02. Okay, for this one, for vertical, every uh, box here will be represented as just 0 0.05 volts. Okay, and then multiplied by, okay, so the answer is uh, based on your calculator, you can get 12 point Five, eh? five, five. Mm, kilo, eh? it's a kilo, it's a kilo, it's a kilohertz. Okay, this is a uh, angular frequency, eh? angular frequency of this uh, sine wave. Lah. Okay, so you have to remember this one. Eh? So this is on uh, vertical, vertical uh, normally is the voltage, okay, is the uh, amplitude, amplitude in the voltage. Alright, and then this one will be uh, the period, okay, the period, normally we can get the uh, frequency lah okay actually we, first we have to find the period and then from this period we can calculate the frequency because of the formula of frequency one over t okay right so this is a question number three okay, next uh okay so we go for the question number Okay, question number four. Right, so the question number four. Determine the pulse amplitude. Okay, pulse amplitude, frequency, rise time, and uh, falling time of the waveform. I shown in figure four. Right, so. Okay, this one. Eh? So you have to uh, know how to read the, how to analyze eh, the waveform of the, uh, on the oscilloscope. Lah. Okay, you can see first the fan division and vote division. Eh? So the skill, alright. For example, uh, the skill here, okay. For example, for the vote, eh? for the vote is the, okay, this is a 12, uh, sorry, this is a 2 vote eh? here. Okay, maybe. Okay, this one will be two volt lah. Okay, and then volt, volt per division is equal to two volt lah. Now that mean here, okay, from this point to this point will be two volt. Okay, and then for time division, time division equals to here is a five. Five, you can see this one the the value eh? is the micro. Okay, is the five microsecond okay microsecond per division lah. 
Okay, this one will work for the division. Eh? This mean here from this point to this point will be uh, 5 microsecond. Eh? So the period is uh, 0, uh, sorry, 5 microsecond. Okay, from this point to this point. Eh? Right, so the amplitude. Okay, the amplitude. Okay, so this one eh, already given here, the amplitude from peak to peak. Lah. We measure from peak to peak. Okay, so from this point, we have one. Okay, from this point, we have one. You see this one? One, two, three, four. Okay, we have four box. Okay, we have four square here. Lah. That's mean our amplitude. We have four multiplied by two. This means our uh, amplitude is uh, 8 volts, okay? 8 volts eh, for the amplitudes. And then, we have to find the frequency, okay? Frequency 1 over T, right? T is 1 complete second, lah, okay? Maybe we assume as this one, okay? Uh, this is point, and then we'll be complete cycle 360 will be here, lah, okay? So, you can measure how many box here, eh? Okay? So... Uh, okay, maybe we have okay this one. Eh? I just one, two, three, four. Okay, uh, okay, I need almost five. You yeah, maybe around five point five point six. Huh? Eh? Maybe five point six. Okay, multiply by uh, five microsecond. Eh? Five microsecond. Right for division. Okay, so the uh, you can use your calculator to calculate this one so the answer will be 35.7 kilo That's, okay this is frequency next you have to calculate the rush time and falling time lah. okay so the tr is equals to okay, this formula eh, 0 0.6 multiplied by okay this one eh, already given this one okay you can see this one eh. This is a TR, okay, given here. So you have to calculate lah. So how many, uh, so you can get 0 0.5 lah, not, uh, not, not one eh, not one box. Okay, maybe 0 0.6, okay, 0 0.6, 0 0.5 lah. Okay, this is for calling time, maybe around 0 point, I think 0 0.4, okay, this one eh, calling time eh, this one calling time, this one is the rise time lah. Okay, multiply by uh, 5. 5 uh, micro, eh? 5 microseconds, ah. and then we will get 3 microseconds, okay, and then falling time, okay, falling time, okay, dimension here, here will be um, 0 0.4, ah. okay, 0 0.4, multiply by 5 micro, ah. so the answer will be 2 microseconds, right, so that is the uh, amplitude, okay, the amplitude, okay, from peak to peak, ah. okay, from peak to peak, uh, okay, this one we got four. Okay, four box here, uh, square box here. Okay, the position is multiplied by uh, word per division is two. Okay, it will be set here. Word per division is two. That's why the amplitude will be uh, we get the uh, eight volts. Okay, and then the frequency. Okay, the frequency based on this formula one over t. So t will be one copy cycle lah. One copy cycle, eh? that's mean 360 lah, from this point to this point, or from this point, okay, from this point to this point, eh? okay, make sure it's one copy cycle, eh? this is we call the, call the T here, okay, then, then we can calculate the, uh, the frequency lah, okay, this one will be given eh? for uh, rush time and uh, falling time lah, so you just uh, find the, the distance here, and then multiply with the time uh, time division lah. time per division and then you can get the time uh, rest time and uh, fall time lah okay of this waveform right so this is a uh, question number four okay so we go for the next question question number five question number five I'll check first okay. Okay, so this is question number five. Okay, question number five. Given the household of the 100, uh, 120 volt RMS, okay, 
uh, 50 hertz right so this is a supply lah for our house okay if the voltage of the crt in the in which the wood division node is set to 50 wood per division all right so you have to remember 50 that means one uh, box will be uh, 50 yeah how many division of the vertical deflection would you expect from the peak to peaks okay from peak to peaks if okay if the time uh, per division of the CRT is set to 10 millisecond per division. So how many cycle would you expect to see on the screen? If it has uh, it has eight division vertically and 10 uh, division horizontally, right? So this one actually, uh, we can uh, we actually uh, they convert. Actually, we have the uh, wave. There's we have the waveform. Okay, that's why you have to draw the waveform now. Okay, from normally we from the uh, from the oscilloscope we can get the uh, get the value. Eh? So this one gives the value. So you have to find the number of division. Eh? Number of division. Okay, all right. So given here, all right. Given is a okay one hundred what rms okay you have to remember what is the rms okay 50 hertz okay right so what for the mission is uh, 50 what for the mission okay this one already given all right so the peak to peak okay this is a formula lah. formula for peak to peak you can find on the books okay two times uh, square root of V RMS. Actually, uh, you get that this one will be uh, similar like this one. Uh. So, yeah, actually, this is symbol on the oscilloscope, right? So, the RMS will be uh, something like this here, here. Okay, so this one we are rest to get the VM here. So, the VM is a formula, this one. Uh. Okay, 2 uh, square root 2 multiplied by VRMS to get this point. Eh. And then multiply by two, you want to get another one, uh, peak to peaks, okay? So this one to this one, we call it peak, peak to peak, right? So this one, to, actually, our RMS is here, lah, okay? It's the 120 volt RMS, okay? To find the VM, so this is formula, lah, uh, VM. You can find on the uh, notes, eh? So what is to calculate the VM is this formula, lah. square root two, square root of two, multiply by VRMS, okay? So, okay, we find the VM first, uh, 120 volts, okay, equals to, uh, you can calculate using uh, using your calculator, 339.41 volt, uh, okay. Okay, so, Next, we have to okay. We have to calculate the uh, this multiply by two lah. Okay, this one actually uh, multiply by two v two bits. Okay, and then okay number of uh, division. Okay, so we have this one fifty nine point nine point four volt divided by fifty. Okay, divided by fifty, but because of the this one eh. So maybe uh this part okay this square uh, this square is a uh, 50 volt eh? so divide by that means we have a uh, the answer will be 6.7 per division uh. okay per division okay that means we have approximately uh, 7 division uh. okay uh, okay that means here maybe from this point maybe we have uh, almost 7 uh, okay almost 7 uh, okay example like this uh. One, two, three, four, five, uh, something like that. We have seven, uh, almost seven, uh, 6.5 division here. Okay, this one, this, this point, from this point to this point, uh, almost seven division, uh, almost uh, the answer, the correct answer is the 6.7, okay? okay? So equivalent to seven, uh, okay? And then we want to find the uh, time per division, okay, given. 10 uh, millisecond per division okay so that's mean from this point okay to this point is once 
point here, okay, one square bolt here will be uh, 10 millisecond, eh? 10 millisecond. All right. So, so we know the frequency is uh, uh, 50, eh? 50 hertz. So from, uh, from, from formula, eh? frequency over 1 over T. So, okay. So then we can calculate, or, so the frequency will be given. So we can create the T, lah, T, 1 over F, okay, 1 over 50, okay, equals to um, 2 milliseconds, okay, 2 milliseconds. So number of, number of uh, division uh, for time, eh, time division, lah, number of division per time division. So you have to convert lah, uh, to 20 milliseconds divided by 10 milliseconds, eh. Because of one division is uh, one second, so the answer will be two, two box. Okay, this one complete. That mean, uh, this one. Okay, this point to this point is two lah. That mean here will be uh, the size is uh, something like this. We have one box and then the one box lah. Alright, we have two division here. Um, that mean from this this one to this one. Okay, if you draw like we, if okay the question. I want you to draw, so you have to draw that. Ah. So this one we have seven division. Ah. One, two, three. Okay. One, one, two, three, four. Okay. Something like this. Ah. Uh, seven. Okay. Okay. So and then we have we have one, and one. Okay. So one, two, three, four. Maybe from this point. Okay. Uh, okay. Something like this, ah. Uh, okay, one complete cycle. All right. Okay. Uh, this one very small, eh? You can scale up. Okay. So this one from this point to this point will be two division. Okay. For the uh, time division is two division. Okay. This means we have one two lah, and then for uh both. Per division we have seven okay from this one eh one two three four, almost seven now okay so that's the the if uh, the question want to draw back okay draw back the uh, oscilloscope okay oscilloscope waveform so something like this lah okay maybe you can use your upper uh, uh, graph okay the graph uh, graph uh, using the graph okay so maybe you can get the better waveform lah so this one just a uh, sketch eh? all right so this is a uh, question number uh, number five, okay, right, clear. Eh? So next we go for the um, question number six. Eh? Question number six. Okay. Okay, so this is question number six. Okay, determine the voltage peak to peaks. Okay, frequency and the phase difference between the two waveform as shown in the figure uh, six. Okay, so this one, uh, figure six. Okay, we have two waveform, waveform A and waveform B. Uh. So you have to find the uh, voltage peak to peaks. Okay, this means from this, okay, for right, waveform A from this point to this point. Okay. And from B, this point to this point, lah. okay. So first we have to indicate, lah. so the time division. Time division here will be, okay, 0 0.1, eh. 0 0.1. Okay, uh, second per division, okay. And then votes is 200. 200 millivolt per division. Okay, from this one, eh? 200, okay? 200 uh, millivolt per uh, volts, okay? Per division, lah. Eh? Alright, so first we have to calculate the voltage peak to peak A, lah. Okay, peak to peak for waveform A, eh? Let's put as a waveform A. So from this point, eh? 
one, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, we have six multiply by uh, 200, 200 uh, millivolt per division, okay, so we have a uh, 1.2 volt per uh, volt, okay, because of this division, okay, that's why I cancel out, so the answer will be uh, in volt, in volt, uh, in voltage, okay, 1.2 volts, okay, and then the frequency, 1 over T, okay, so the T from, uh, let me mention 2, 1 copy cycle, we assume this one, eh? 2, this one, eh? 1, 2, 3, 4, by six okay almost six lah eh okay one over uh, six times zero point one millisecond lah okay so the frequency is a uh, sixteen point seven hertz okay right so uh, this is for frequency lah and then uh, we have, we have to find the v peak to peaks for b Okay, we form B. Okay, we form B. This one, ah. Okay. Wow. Okay. Let's move this one. Copy one, two. Okay. Then this one, the, uh, we have another one. Maybe two point four, eh? Maybe two point four. Okay. Two point four division multiplied by uh, two hundred millivolts per division. Okay. So it goes to four hundred eight, four hundred eighty millivolt, ah. Okay. And then uh, for frequency, 1 over t, okay, t from this point, okay, uh, to this point, uh, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we have 6, okay, or oh, similar like, okay, here, uh, we have 6 multiplied by 0 0.1 uh, milliseconds, okay, millisecond, so fb is a, Okay, will be same lah. Will be same. Okay, six, okay, because this one six, this one also six. That's so why the frequency will be same. Lah. Sixteen point seven. That's okay. And then you you want to find the uh, phase difference. Okay, the phase difference you can see this one eh. The phase difference from uh for waveform A, the phase difference is mean the this one lah. The phase. Okay, this part lah. You can see this part eh. So you can see this one only one division lah. Okay, this is away from A and this is away from B, only one uh, division. The difference is uh, one di division. You can see eh? the difference is the one division. Ah. So this is uh, starting A. Okay, you can see eh? the next for B is here, start here. So and then you can calculate the division ah, from this point to this point. So that's why the phase difference is only one. Ah. Okay, only one. This means it's the 0 0.1 millisecond. Okay, this is the phase difference. Okay, if convert into the uh, degrees, is the 60, yeah, 60 lah. Okay, because of 60, uh, 6 division equals to, okay, 6 division, this one, okay. We have 6 division, this one, eh. 6 division here, for example, here, actually, is the 6. 6 division is a 360, yeah. 6 division, we have 360, okay. Alright. And then from this one, you can create if one division, okay, one, only one, this division, uh, the division is a 60 lah, okay, 60. The one hundred sixty, eh, because we have this one from this point to this point is uh, 360, okay, 360 in the degrees lah, 360. Okay, but the first, we, we know, eh, so one here, one division, uh, one division here equals to 60, uh, degrees, okay, that's the answer lah. this one in the degrees, okay, this one is the division eh? the, for the first difference okay, that is for question number uh, number 6, okay next we go for the question number uh, 7, okay question number 7 Right, so the question number seven here. So the waveform of the typical electrodiogram ECG signal display on the oscilloscope. Okay, this one, eh? Uh, on the oscilloscope. 
I shouldn't have figured say words. So if vertical sensitivity is set at uh, hundreds millivolt per cm, and the sweep speed of the, uh, is set at two millisecond per cm, right? Find the peak to peaks, okay? Uh, peak to peak amplitude. Uh, VP of the signal and the frequency that represent the heart the heart rates of the person who home the electrode uh, are attached. Okay, so this is a ECG. Eh? This is ECG signal. Okay, so we, we want to find the okay find the uh, the peak to peak okay amplitude and the frequency lah. So given here. Is, uh, this one will be uh, 100 millivolt okay per cm okay this is volt per division and then uh, we have the time per division time division is 2 uh, 2 here given here 2 millisecond 2 millisecond per cm okay so peak to peak okay so this one uh, peak to peak okay 1 2 uh, we have another, another not not maybe five okay maybe half lah maybe half okay so the P to P is close to two point five two point five lah the half okay multiply by hundred by hundreds volts okay okay so the answer is a zero point two five volts okay for this one this point to this point lah. Okay, from this point to this point, and then the frequency one over t. Okay, so from okay you can see one complete cycle, eh? one complete cycle uh, from this point to this point, lah. Okay, maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, um, seven, lah. Okay, seven division, eh? Seven division. Uh, seven times uh, two. The seconds uh, equals to uh, 71.42 hertz. Okay, all right. So, this is the uh, amplitudes. Okay, peak to peaks, and this is a uh, frequency. Uh, okay, frequency 71.742 uh, hertz. Okay, <coughs> all right. That's it for the question number uh, seven. Next, we go for the Question, question number eight. Okay, question number eight. Okay, so this is question number eight. Eh? Question number eight. Right, so the question number eight. Find the frequency okay, of the vertical plate if the frequency applied to the horizontal plate is a 60 hertz for the pattern shown in the figure okay, it's below right so this is a uh, question number eight eh? okay so this one okay similar like uh, the first one we have the f y equals to frequency of a uh, vertical and horizontal all right equals to we have four multiplied by one okay so we want to find the we want okay the frequency of vertical plate lah. okay similar this one similar like uh equation one eh? the formula will be same lah. we have four multiplied by uh, 60 hertz okay 60 hertz so the answer will be 240 hertz okay for the frequency of the vertical okay for the verticals all right so this is for question number Okay. Okay. Next, we go for the question number nine. Okay, question number nine. Okay, question number nine. Right. So the the trace of two signals on the screen of the CRO. Okay, it's the an ellipse. Okay, the slope of the major axis is negative. The maximum value of maximum value is three division, 
and the point where the ellipse crosses uh, the vertical axis is, is 2.6 divisions. So the ellipse is symmetrical about horizontal and vertical axis to okay. determine the phase angle between two signals. All right. So okay. So you have to know uh, uh, what's the 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 shape of the ellipse. Okay. Uh, okay. The ellipse something like this. Huh? Okay. Something like this. Okay. Ellipse or something here. Okay. This one. Okay. So for example, we have the center here. Okay. So maybe our ellipse something like this. Huh? Because of the set. Something like this. Okay. So. And this one is the uh, y sex, okay. And this one is the uh, y1, okay. So this one given, eh? All right. So y1 given is 2.6, and then y2, this one y2, I'm not y2, y2 equals to 3, okay. Yes, this is 3 division, eh? okay. This is given, eh? So the formula, eh? Formula of this one sine wave uh, sine theta equal to y1 divided by y2. Okay, it's 2.5 divided by 3. All right, so quantity theta equals to sine inverse. Okay, 2.5 divided by 3. And then, okay, using your calculator, so the theta is equal to this one equal to 0. 866 something lah, okay, and then we got the theta will be 60 lah, okay, will be 60, right? So there is the phase different, eh? the phase uh, angles, okay, the phase angle uh, between two signal lah, okay, right? So this is formula eh? that we have another formula that you have to remember, alright, for ellipse, okay. So next, the last question is the question number uh, 10. We go for the question number 10. Okay, so the question 10, the CRO is set to the XY mode. Okay, if both input signals are sine wave of the same frequency and amplitude of 60 and 90 degrees phase difference okay draw the output display that should be obtained so this one you have to draw lah. draw the uh, the output okay output display uh, on your oscilloscope eh? on oscilloscope okay so but the will be given here the sine wave of the frequency m2 is the yeah the um, 90 90 phase difference eh? so this mean okay maybe we can draw like this okay uh, we have uh, three. Uh, maybe this one is uh, our uh, scope. Okay, something like this. This is in on our oscilloscope. Uh, okay, uh, the time division and work division. Uh, eh? Okay, so so this one we call point one, point two, point three. Okay, this one we can detect as the point one, point two, point three, point four. Uh. Okay, so that's the our uh, output display will be like this. Huh? Okay, something like this. Like a uh, circle. Okay, like a circle. This is our form. Like a circle. Huh? Okay, right. So this is the output display lah, on our solar stone. Eh? Actually, it's like, like a circle, like, like, like this one, okay, right? Okay, so that's all for the uh, question number uh, 10. And then uh, and then also finish on the tutorial 4. Eh? So next, maybe we go for the next tutorial, tutorial number 5. Okay, tutorial number 5 will be uh, bridge, lah. Uh, AC and DC bridge, okay? Right, so thank you very much. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and see you guys. Okay, bye.